Hi, my friends. This is Corey. Welcome to the Diamond Painting Effect with Corey. I'm here today with another Stitch With Me. The Stitch With Me that I'm going to work on today, the project I'm going to work on today is my Nativity. This is one that I started December 3rd, and I'm hoping to be able to finish this one by the next Christmas. This one is a stamped cross stitch that came from One Day Saving. I have, it cost $13.72 when I got it. Um, I can't remember if I said the date. I started, I started on December 3rd. And this is my progress. I need to start taking pictures, and I keep saying that, and then I don't do it. But <clears throat> let's see if I can back you out a little bit. Okay. Um, I... I've been doing working on the dark areas and this is the stable, the side of the stable. And there I think the last time you saw this, none of this area was done except maybe a little bit of confetti. So all these dark stitches, here, I'll show you the back, it's probably easier for you to tell. All these dark stitches is is what I've done recently. And um so and this is the, I think it, it's, it's really, I think it's going to be nice when I'm done. And, uh, I think I already have a strand of thread going on this one. And I'll go ahead and continue it. I had plans today. I was going to do kind of a mini floss tube, if I ever dare to call it a floss tube. Um... I've made some purchases I wanted to share, but I've, I've been suddenly called away. And so I'm going to do a real quick stitch with me or else nothing will get put up today. So bear with me. Um, uh, it, it might even be a short one. I'm over there watching the clock. Uh, <clears throat> I had a really, really nice weekend. It started Friday. Um, my sister and I, we have our little craft day and we ended up, uh, here, let me move you in a little bit closer. There, so you can see a little better, put some light on. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, we ended up doing our craft day on Friday because we wanted to go see a movie that came out this week. Um, it's a Christian movie. It's called Nefarious. And um, we were curious to see how it was. It, it deals with... It's rated R because it does deal with uh, demons. Um, it was a very good, thought-provoking movie. Uh, I'm glad I went supported to in order to support the 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 makers of the film we need them to have success so they can keep doing it but i don't think i'll go watch it again <laughs> i don't think i will uh that i guess that's an upset about that very thought provoking but i no i don't need to do that again um <sighs> And let's see, I did, I've got some stitching done. Like I did, I did a lot of this stitching, um, over the weekend. I've worked on some other projects. I bought some things. I was getting the video ready to do, show you all the things. It's not, it's more patterns than anything else. And just show you what's going on. And I'm going to put that off till tomorrow. My sister finished her project and I will I'll put a pictures of it up here. Um there'll be there'll be I think like three pictures. There's a picture of her when she finished it since I was with her. I went ahead and took pictures. I'm working on that same series and she finished the summer of that series. And and then she washed it and then um I'll have the completed picture up there and I'll just stick that in. If I don't stick it in today in the effort to just get the video up, I will do that tomorrow, guys. Sorry. Sorry for that teaser. But I thought it turned out so cute. And I cannot wait till I can get mine done. 
I have showed you my winter one. It's it's a joy Sunday, and it's sampler style. It's done in a sampler style, and um, yeah, I want to finish finish all those. I think they're cute and they're very fun to stitch. I I they're just quick fun um, little samplers. So. Um, I enjoyed that. On Saturday, we had our church had a brunch for the women, um, and that was nice to go to. Uh, oh, I ought to show you what they gave us. Um, they made this cute little. They rolled up a pair of fuzzy socks into a cup, and the way they rolled it up, they pulled the, the layers of the sock up to look like uh, a swirly on ice cream or a cupcake. And then they put a little red dot on the top for a cherry. I thought it was so cute. It's so cute. And it was, you know, they kind of let everybody have one. And we got a pair of socks that was pretended like a cupcake. <laughs> so that, that was kind of fun and cute. Um, Daniel is in Baltimore today. He's trying to get a load out. He delivered this morning. Um, he was told that it's a good chance that other project that he was on will start up again in a couple weeks. So he's excited about that. He really enjoyed that. He liked working with the people. There's a lot of companies, you guys, that are just rude to truck drivers. They ha they don't show them any respect. They don't, they just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. They, they treat them like unruly children. And I'm sure truck drivers can act like that. But it's just like, they just don't treat anybody. There's a lot of companies that just don't treat um, people nicely or the truck drivers nicely. I, I guess it has to do with it's, it's kind of a high stress type job that it's nice when you get a company that does respect the truck drivers. Um, so that's what's going on with Daniel. Um, Marcy is leaving today. She'll be driving through Colorado. That Marcy is my sister. And she's due to be here Wednesday. And my prayers are with her always. Always, always. Um, gosh. I, I'm going to worry about her till she's here. And, uh, you know. I just, I just need her to get here safely. That's all. I just need her to get here safely. Um, I've got lots to do to be ready. And uh, I got called the way to go help on something else. And I was, I had just woken up and I wasn't thinking clearly. And I, I said I could do it. I just. You know how in the back of your mind you're thinking of all the things you're going to do today and something else comes along and, oh yeah, I can, I can reshuffle everything. That's okay. And then I realized later, I'm like, you know what? The time for reshuffling is over. <laughs> I don't have time to reshuffle. But hopefully this will be a quick trip and I can manage okay. I, you know, if, if these things don't get done before Marcy gets here. It's okay. It really isn't the end of the world. It just just would be nice to have them done. I discovered a new uh, floss tuber, and her channel name is her name is Lotta, and her name of her channel is. I stitch birds, and there's a question mark at the end of it. She is so, it is so fun watching her because she, you, you just, 
you could see the excitement in all her projects and just her face lights up when she pulls them out like it's like like it's Christmas every time, you know. It was it was kind of fun watching her. So there's a shout out for her. Um I think she's barely I mean, I think she started like a month ago. And uh she's lives in Australia, but she's Finnish. She's from Finland. And uh and if you hadn't Notice she likes to stitch birds. That's not all she does, but she does enjoy her birds. And so, um, Yeah, I I don't know why. I Well, I do know why. I put this one off because I was trying to do... I had other things in mind to try to do. Try to finish that Precious Moments, which I have done some progress on it. Um, and I kind of put this one aside, but I, I cannot put it aside for too long or else I will not have it finished by, uh, by Christmas because it's... It's so big. This one is a, I think it's a 50 by 60. Let's see if it says, if it has on my little info. It does not. It's a 50 by 65. So if I don't finish, if I don't work on this, it's not going to get done. Because, I mean, after what? December, January, February, March, April. That's four months of work. And Gunther wants to come into the party again. Lay down. No, lay down. Lay down, sweet boy. Come on, lay down. There you go, buddy. There you go. Come on. No, that's enough. You got your pets. Uh, I, I I know that when I start talk, I already restarted this video once because of him. When I start talking, he thinks he's got to be here. And. He's okay. He's gonna lay on the arm of my chair now. So, yeah, and um, I have decided. I know I I did that Hobby Lobby haul, and I got all those new kits. And so what I've decided to do is I have made, uh, a couple months back, I made a new channel that's called Just a Strand or Two. And I've decided that I'm going to unbox, I, I mean, I already showed the kits, I showed the haul, but I did not un, undo them, break them down and show them that way. They are county cross stitch, so there's not a whole lot to show um, and as far as the materials go but I can show you the threads and the kits and go over that again and I've decided that what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and do that stuff on just a strand of two channel and um I I'm still formulating how I'm going to try and work this out because I don't want to give up my diamond painting channel I I don't want to change the name um if I completely uh, part of the issue is I'll have to build up subscribers for the new channel and I'm not sure I'll be able to do that and I think that's what the the product review people look at when they when they decide whether or not they want you to do a, a review for their products. They look at how how many people you have in your channel and how many viewers you have. And and that would be starting over. And the ones that I presently have, they're expecting them to be on this channel. And um, so I'm not quite sure how to work all that all that intricacies of that to be honest y'all getting a little background information that maybe you don't necessarily need but um that is um that's that's my dilemma of just 
having a stitching channel and a diamond painting channel um it's it's just i don't even know how to navigate because i don't even really know for sure how it all works so i'm, I'm just here because i want to share what i got you know and um share what i'm doing you know there's very few people in my life who even care that i diamond paint or cross stitch it's and they they don't feel the enthusiasm that you guys feel and so it's like it's, it's something natural that you want to share with somebody who will appreciate it and um i don't want subscribers just just for the sake of subscribers i want subscribers who are here because they want to be here um and i'm having a heck of a time getting these two threads <laughs> lined up together I am sorry. Um, anyway, um, so that's my dilemma. But at least for now, I have decided that's how I'm going to deal with the issue of those, all those kits that I got. I'm going to go ahead and unbox them on my other channel called Just a Strand or Two. Um, ideally, Just a Strand or Two is significant of my stitch alongs you know stitch with me because that's basically what i do is i just have a stitch along for just a strand or two of thread so that's what's behind that i don't know that i'm going to move my stitch with me's over there just yet um uh but that is that is something i am toy rolling around in my brain part of me just I don't know I think I try to put a diamond painting symbol a diamond in the title of the ones that are actually diamond painting most of my uh, most of my stuff is cross stitch now but I'm not really wanting to leave the diamond painting behind in fact there is one over there right now I'm working on Maybe it'll be finished by tomorrow. I'm doing that for hashtag I believe I can fly. That Shirley is doing that event for uh, Shirley's. I, I think the name of her channel is, I'm probably going to say it wrong, but it's Shirley's Real Life. And she's doing a butterfly event. So she's doing diamond paintings that all have butterflies. And so I thought I would join her on that one. Um, I have a few butterfly things around here. And um, I really wanted to support her in that. Um, so. And I'll be showing you that one soon. Okay. Um. I've got some cat hairs I'm going to have to pull out of this. I can see already. Uh, it's It's been a struggle. Daniel showed me a makeshift way to get the the cat fur out of the hair. Uh, air out of the air. It's just going to take up a lot of space. You put a box fan, fan. You make a box out of air filters. And you put at the top of the box a box fan and so all the hair all the hair that's floating around in the air gets sucked into the box fan which gets slammed against the air filters and it's it's not a pretty sight it doesn't look good <laughs> it takes up a lot of space so I'm, I, well, I don't know about that happening ever, but golly, I sure need something. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining me today while I jibber jabber. There won't be a whole lot of editing on this one. I'm going to just try to get it up. I want to thank you for joining me. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.